there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, I'm just going to share with you a little bit of our garden progress. Out here uh, trying to get the uh, last of the garden put in. Um, uh, most people plant on Memorial Day weekend. And uh, so while well, I've definitely got a lot of it started... Um, Earlier uh, this year, uh, the bulk of my my planning will be this weekend, and especially getting my transplants like my tomatoes and so forth out here. But I did want to kind of give you just a bit of an update as far as how things are looking up to this point. So um, we'll kind of go over here and take a look. The beets uh, have come up real well, and uh, over here we have our uh, sugar snap peas. They're looking really good, um, and then these are some snow peas. And uh, over here we have our turnips, and then the uh, spinach is looking really good, and uh, so is the lettuce. We've already harvested some of that, and uh, then this this is a lettuce mix, and then this is butter crunch lettuce, and then um, right here we have our second planting of peas. Our onions are looking really really good, um, so we've got a bunch of onions planted. And then over here we have our Swiss chard that's starting to come up. And uh, we have, and I'd have to refer to my um, list, I'm not sure what that is. It's some one of the brassicas, which is looking pretty good. Uh, some more brassicas down through here. Just planted some carrots in there, some more brassicas uh, through here. So uh, really, really happy with how things are looking right now. And uh, so... We are going to be uh, planting the rest of these beds today, and then we're going to be uh, working on the straw bales as well. So, very excited about all of that. The last thing we're going to be doing is uh, I have a couple of old tires right here, and uh, so I'm going to be using these to uh, plant some uh, squash in. I think probably my summer squash um, will be planted in that, my zucchini. And uh, so that's where we're at. So let's get to planting, and uh, then uh, we'll come back and... Uh, We'll show you the rest of it once we've got it in the ground. So yesterday we were able to get a lot of the beans and uh, the remaining um, items that we're going to start from seed into the ground. So I was very excited about that. And today we're actually going to be doing um, our tomatoes. So I am very excited about this because this is the first time I've actually ever started tomatoes from seed. And the second batch definitely came out a lot better than the first. And uh, so um, uh, these, I think, are going to do great. The first batch doesn't look so, so hot. And I'm going to plant a couple of them uh, from the first batch just because that contains my mortgage lifter tomatoes that I was really excited about um, trying out. But uh, I'm only going to plant a couple of each one of those uh, just because I don't, quite frankly, I, I have doubts as to whether or not they're going to be successful. So... Um, but this group of tomatoes, I think, look really good, and uh, so I think we're going to be fine there. Peppers, not so much. In fact, I'm probably going to have to go buy peppers tomorrow to finish things out. I'm a little bit disappointed there, uh, but I just didn't have enough room um, to be able to start a second batch of peppers, and it was I had to make a decision as to whether or not I was going to do tomatoes or peppers, and the tomatoes won out, and uh, so... Uh, next year, you know, I just know, I just learned a lot of things, and that's just a grand experiment. And the biggest, my biggest takeaway is to make sure I use just professional seed starter mix and not try to get uh, too jiggy or too crazy like I did this year and make my own stuff. Just go with a pro mix that just seems to work so much better. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to do next year. But this year, um, you know, it is what it is. We're at the spot to where I can't start peppers now. It'd be too late. And so I'm going to go with these tomatoes and then we'll buy the pepper transplants. But uh, we're going to go ahead and um, start getting these into the ground. And uh, so i um, very excited about that. So let's get these uh, uh, tomatoes in there. One of the things I do every year, and I just wanted to share with you, is uh, I put together these roadmaps uh, based on my square foot gardens. And then this really helps me plan out where each item is going to go. And it helps me know how many transplants I need to buy um, or start. Although this year I started way more than I needed. But some of that was because I was starting them for my dad. And some of it was because I had considered starting extra to be able to sell. And uh, that obviously didn't happen. Um, but 
hopefully next year that will be within the uh, realm of possibilities. Um, but this really helps me know what I planted where and uh, when I planted it. And then I can also um, start, you know, I, I can understand based on the dates that I planted when I can start anticipating harvest. So this just really helps me keep um, some good records, at least for that year. Now, what I have not done very well is um, keeping track of these from year to year. And uh, so I need to do a little bit better of a job um, at that. But uh, this is my roadmap today. And so I know exactly where I'm going to put each variety of tomato. And uh, so let's go ahead and get some tomatoes in the ground. So you can see in the bed behind me that we have our tomatoes all planted. And uh, a few eggplant, a few of the peppers that I started that we're gambling with in this uh, bed over here. I have a few of the other... Uh, tomatoes that I started at the very beginning. Uh, like I said, they're not very big. I'm not really quite sure how far they're going to get, but I figured I'd toss them in and just see if they start to take off. If not, I have a few of these other tomatoes uh, available that I can just pop in there or else I'll just plant another crop in there. So quite frankly, I don't need uh, all the tomatoes that I'm putting in. This is more of an experiment. And then my plan is to sell the excess um, and you know, we'll kind of go from there. I just have the peppers that I need to pick up, the transplants again, as I said earlier, my uh, other ones just really, I don't want to put all my eggs in that basket. So uh, I'm going to pick up three different varieties of peppers to uh, plant between this raised bed and then the straw bales. So that's the last thing for me to plant are my straw bales. So I'll be probably doing that Tuesday evening. Today is Sunday. Uh, tomorrow will be a Memorial Day. We actually uh, every year go up to my grandparents' grave in Vermont and so I won't be getting any uh, gardening done um, tomorrow I don't think but uh, overall very very happy with where we're at and uh, how the garden looks and really things are just really starting to uh, come on very very well um, I actually was able I'll show you this um, was able to uh, get the um, tires so you can see those I've got them uh, filled up with uh, compost and have zucchini and summer squash planted in them. And then in between these straw bales, I filled them partway up with the uh, mulch and then put a, a bag across it and uh, when I say a bag, um, a cardboard feed bag and then filled the top of it with uh, compost and planted in this one here watermelon um cassava melon i think is what it's called oh, let's see what it's called um yeah these are cassava melons so we're going to try them never tried them before got some uh, watermelon in there and spaghetti squash yeah spaghetti squash and then in this one over here we have uh again same method i used and we have in here pie pumpkins and butternut squash and so excited about that we'll be planting this one probably to uh the square bales themselves or the straw bales i keep wanting to say square bales but the straw bales we'll be planting to um sweet potatoes so i'm going to get some sweet potato slips and then this one here i'm probably going to be putting uh some more brassicas in that probably some cabbage and brussels sprouts something that i don't have to uh spend a lot of time harvesting where I would walk over the vines to uh, have to get to it. So, man, I tell you right now, I am just very happy with how things are looking. I think that uh, things are coming up well, just getting a little bit of water to it. It did rain a little bit today, but um, wanted to get a little bit more water on these uh, plants, especially after I had done the transplant. So, all right. So I went ahead today and did like I said I was going to do, and I bought my uh, pepper, as you can see them right there and right there. Pepper transplants. I have a few more that we're going to be popping in the square bales. That'll be our next episode as I tell you about that. But uh, overall, um, by and large, we have the raised beds planted with the exception of one final, and I'll show you that over here. In this bed here, you can see that the... Um, uh, cucumbers have started to come up and uh, so I'm going to be using a cattle panel and uh, building kind of a trellis like this that leans up and then we'll be planting the uh, spinach and the lettuce underneath there 
to shade that during the hotter months of summer and uh, hopefully that will help that really come up very nicely. Uh, that's where we're at right now. Very, very happy to finally have the raised beds um, pretty much planted. And uh, so on to the straw bales, which I will be sharing with you in our next episode. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you later.